Welcome back. So we're still using the script from the hourly plot and the monthly chart. What we're going to talk about now is legend parameters. So in the ladybug tab, we want to go to extra where you can find the legend parameters component and drop that down into your canvas. Okay. So this component allows you to make a bunch of changes to your legend. So if we go back to our Rhino space, you can see our legend is right there. The first thing we want to do actually is we want to connect to our hourly plot. So let's move this up. Let's move everything down. So we're going to connect the legend parameters to the input for the hourly plot. Can make some space here. Move this over. Okay. Let's move this up. Okay. What this allows you to do is create a minimum and a maximum value for your chart. So in this case, I might want to make the minimum value negative 10. So I'll create a panel that says negative 10. And you can do a number slider as well and connect that to minimum. So you can see that changed it to negative 10 at the bottom. I'm going to make the topmost number my maximum 35. So I'll create another panel for 35 and connect that. So now we have this um, legend that goes from negative 10 to 35, and it's split into 11 segments. So if you see this input for segments, it the default is set to 11. I'm actually going to connect a slider here that goes from 0 to 15, but I want to set it to 10. Let's just do 10 segments because I think that will give me an even number. There you go. So now I have my legend set into intervals of 5 from negative 10 to 35. The other thing you can do here is you can change around with the number of decimal places that you see because now that I have even numbers, I don't really need those decimal places. So you can see here there's an input, uh, input for uh, number of decimal places. This takes either it takes an integer. So if we want zero decimal places, we're just going to connect a slider or a panel set to zero. And there we go. Now we have even numbers. The next input here is larger or smaller. Now, if you recall, we actually changed our minimum and maximum so that they fell either lower or higher than the lowest and highest number. So we want a greater than or lesser than symbol in the legend to be accurate. So we're going to connect a Boolean toggle and set that to true in order to add that symbol. So now any number above 35 is going to be red and any number below 10 is going to be blue. Okay, so we have this vertical uh, legend. If we want to convert that to a horizontal legend, we can use another Boolean toggle set to true and connect it to vertical or horizontal. Set that to false, excuse me. So the default is vertical. And if we want it to switch to horizontal, we can, let's delete this here. Okay. We can set the legend now horizontal above our chart. You can make changes to the size, right? And so you can change the segment height or segment width. Both of these are um, set to uh, your units in Rhino. So if you use one, then it's set to one meter. Uh, so let's just say you want to actually make it smaller. You can connect a slider from that's like, let's say we want to make it actually two units wide or two units high. Now it's set to much smaller. You can make it bigger, right? Because it's two meters high. Now this is seven meters and much higher. 
Um, and you can do the same for the width if you wanted to make the width uh, larger or smaller. For now, I'm just going to keep it the way it is so that I can visualize it. But I do, do, I do want to make the font a little bit larger. In that case, you can change the text height. So let's see if we do another slider that goes to 10 and connect it. You can play around with how, high, how, um, how big the text becomes. Uh, it's quite large. <laughs> you can um, make changes. I kind of like it at 7. And it's kind of tied to the segment height and the segment width. Uh, so you'll just have to play around with the values here to figure out what the best distance is. This is actually going to be around 20. So if you connect it, you can kind of control it a little bit better. There we go. If we do 30 and this becomes, you can make it a little bit bigger. You can also change the font in if you have a specific font you want to use, you have to use the text, um, a text field. Uh, so for example, if you want to change it to Times New Roman, you would create a panel that says Times New Roman and connect that to the font input and it will change the font. So you see that they changed it. Um, or any custom font that you want to change it to. And there you go, that's your legend parameter. You can connect this legend parameter to any one of the charts. Actually, we should talk about colors. Let's make some space here. So when you have multiple charts, so say I created a chart, I'm gonna make a copy here, right? I'm gonna create a chart for relative humidity. And I'm going to create a point here for it to move to. Let's just construct. OK, say I want to move it 200 in the Y coordinate. Oh, might need a little bit more. Let's move it up higher. So as you can see, both of these charts are using the same color scheme. Uh, we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a new legend parameter with a new set of colors because I want my relative humidity chart to be, zero, be white for zero and because relative humidity is always going to be reflected as a percentage, it's always going to be from 0 to 100. Right? So we'll create a new chart. It's going from 0 to 100. And we can change the number of segments so that it's even back to 11. And I want this to actually be from white for blue to purple for 100. And you can do that. Um, in Ladybug Tools. All you have to do is get two color swatches. I'll just copy it from here. So I'll copy that and create another one. So I'm going to make the first one white. And we're going to make the next one kind of like a purple. See, it was purple. There you go. That's a good purple. And the order in which you connect it matters. So if I connect purple first, it's going to make my zero value. It's going to error out first because you need to have at least two color swatches connected in order to make a legend. So if I connected purple first, my zero value is going to be purple. Um, but I want my first value to be white. So you have to connect white first, and then you can connect purple. You can also add as many colors as you like. If I copy this and create, a, say I want it to go to magenta and connect it. Now I have three ranges of colors where I have white. And you can change the order because remember the order in which I connect it is going to dictate. So if I do this and white in the middle and purple at the end. Now everything that's around 50% will be white and purple will be the dry periods and 
magenta will be the wet periods. Okay, so that's one way that you can create a color swatch. Like say this was not, say I'm not connecting my relative humidity, but I'm connecting my dew point temperature and I want it to be slightly different. Um, there's also something, there's a ladybug gradient library. So if you type in gradient, so there you go, ladybug gradient library. And this is an index. So if you hover over the grad index, you'll see there's 24 different color types that you can preset libraries of colors that you can reference. So all it needs is a slider from 0 to 23. And oops, I connected a legacy plugin. Um, it's also here. It's called LB Color Range in the newer Ladybug tools. So you want to, it works the same. You want to connect 0 to 24. Sorry, 0 to 23. And then let's delete this. And we can connect colors to colors. And you'll see the first value is the default Ladybug tools colors. But you can start seeing different color ranges that you can use. OK. With relative humidity and um, certain colors, I always go with the color swatches to have more control over how that actually looks. And there are other ways that you can, you know, change colors using your native grasshopper components. But those are the two that we'll go over in this video. Um, thank you very much.